yo, yo, welcome back to another video, it's your boy Sauber Zero here, back in another video, playing some more GTA 5, and we back with another one, so man, we on the grind right now, so, let's keep it going, and then, we got like a, a phone call for Franklin, right now happening, so, let's get into it. Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man, listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. Acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very well. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity. Oh! Hey. Oh, we is gonna go. We going to the um, the Hollywood Studios. Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah. Look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I will. But you don't know what the. Fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. That bastard's stealing my bike again! Hey, where the hell are you going with my bike? Are you the fact that this nigga going slow? Who's next? Anyone? See, this is my fault being helpful. Oh, Lord. oh! Why are we going like super fast? <laughs> How did you fall, bro? Ah, oh, this is total bullshit. At least it put me closer, though. Like Jimmy doing Are you over serious? here. <laughs> She's crazy. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in, but the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, 
Never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directives or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> All right. We about to be a movie star. Yeah, I don't cap like I will like say if I get like I get the chance to be in a movie or a show, hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. They're like, they're like I've been, I've been, like I ain't never act, act like, you know, like, like basically like famously or like for an actually show or movie hey, so and stuff like that. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now I realized in my excitement I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. Are they all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. But, like, nothing like that in that nature, but, like, just, like, when I acted, like, you know, doing it, because, like, when I was in high school, I had, okay, you bitch. <laughs> like, I had drama class or whatever and stuff like that. And it, like, I always liked acting, you know, because, like, I, I felt like I took the shit serious. And, you know, I felt like I do good on it. Like, I, when I first acted was when I was in church when I was little. And then, and then um, it took me to, like, when I did the church one. I did a, a Christmas play uh, while I was in in school. When I was little, but I couldn't even do that one like in front of a bunch of people. And, I, and the crazy thing about it, I was a, a, like a lead. Like a lead role type. I don't know if he actually wants to turn it into burn it down and claim the insurance. I think I heard you. Oh, I'm sorry, pal. I got to ask good. you to leave. You don't see a thing. Look, uh, you really got to go right now. Look out of his head, ain't gonna cap. But <laughs> like, like I was a lead 
rolling, but it's like I got sick. Like I had like something this really restricted wrong. Restricted access. Like something really wrong with me. Like I just kept throwing up that whole fucking day. Uh, come on, come on. I didn't know what was actually happening to me, so I couldn't do the play. But I, actually, I was really trying to do that play. So like, hey, even you when are. I was on. Um, Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> There's a real physicality to him. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. The, the fact that I hit him with a one hit a quitter, that nigga said, oh, I'm going down. <laughs> but, We're like, not going um, anywhere. Going back to the Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? I'm not good at flying planes right now. It's not too late. Just, just chill. Aye. Oh, first of all, give me a bridge. I can fill in there. I'm an artist. Can I just say I was testing this for the promise of strong trucks? I don't want a new deal. So much has to be off the show entirely. Well, I've got a feeling you might want to reconsider as well. Oh, <laughs> office. Come on. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week. How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fill a piss test at any point on this shoot. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. 
I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Mr. Richards. Alright, y'all got a uh, car up in here. I can use. I can to use that plan. Y'all use the plan. Fuck it. But I'm um, going back to the story, right? So, you know, I was sick or whatever. I couldn't do it. And then, and then I did some more. Right? like plays for the um, church or whatever and then like and then like the crazy thing about it like what made me fell in love with music by doing that the church play because like you know I, I was like I wasn't a lead at first because I was younger than the person and then the person like he got they got scared or whatever so they didn't even do the damn thing like he could he didn't want to be the lead no more because it had like a singing scene, whatever. Ah, nigga, why it didn't? It did, oh, okay, okay, GTA, you just gonna fucking just go to it, like, bro. I'm over and turning and it's not trying to go there, but they want to keep bringing me over there. All right, nigga. But, but yeah, like, and he, he didn't want to be like the lead or whatever, so I, I'm like, like, nigga, I do it. Like they, and they, like they asked me, like, do I want to do it? I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Bro, nigga, when I, I went out there, fool, with no fear, bro. You know, they, I, I was doing every single line, getting every single line right. And then, don't let me put it on a high note, saying I was out there wilding. But, you feel me? Like, I don't, like, I don't really fold under pressure, basically. Like, so it's like I'm cool with it. I have no problem doing it. Like you know, because basically like like acting and stuff like that, it's gonna take practice. Like and then like when I got into like you know high school or whatever, I kept like I was like one of the best students in there. Like 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 when we did like some acting or whatever, I was one of the best ones. So teacher was fuck with me because I was actually good at it. Alright, baby, I will do. Nigga, will do. What's your life invader, though? <laughs> like, I was actually good at it, so I was proud of myself. Like, you know, stepping out my shoes to doing something I ain't, I ain't never done before. You feel me? Okay, we did, like, a monologue. Uh, then we did, like, an actually scene for it. You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. But yeah, like I was actually good. Like, as soon as you learn the lines, bro, it's like shit easy. You feel me? Like, like you would know, like, like say if the person said, like, oh, oh, you know, like you gotta act sad or serious and 
that's the type of mode it is. Easy, nigga. I, you, I, you know, just, I just do it. Like, it's easy, but, like, that's why I'm hoping for, like, I could, like, get, like, I could do that in life. Oh, shit. Like, you know, really? I will shoot you. Oh, nigga. Razor. Oh. Oh, he hit it some nerves. <laughs> But like, you know, like, I want to do that, you know, in life, if I, if I can. Shit, like, you know, this, and like, bro, it'd it be crazy to see yourself in a game or, or like a TV, you feel me? Like, that's like one of my dreams, you feel me? It's a, a, a crazy dream, but it, it ain't impossible, you feel me? So... Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. But yeah, like, I will... Yeah, it's, it's a crazy... Ah, oh, that's the damn thing. Like, it's a crazy dream, but, you know, it ain't impossible. Every dream, every dream, everything is impossible in life. You just got to be do your shit and get it done. If you really want that dream to be accomplished and your goals to be achieved. Don't never sell yourself short saying, like, oh, damn, I won't be able to do that. You know, on this, this is all the base of the life that millimeters. you live. What the fuck does this hey, how about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. I don't know why you want to race them. They're in the car fast as hell. But you know, like, don't ever sell yourself short and achieve the dream y'all live, y'all want to be, where y'all want to go in life, and all that. Like, bet on yourself, bro. If y'all don't do nothing else in life, please do that. Please. Don't do it for nobody else. Do it for yourself. Well, y'all can't do it for anybody else. Let me not, not do it for anybody else. But, like, y'all can't do it for people to change our family tree and stuff. Because, yeah, I, I know for me, I'm trying to change people's life. That's the main thing about me. I'm trying to change people's life, like, change my family's life, uh, get my, my future kids, grandkids, if that's the case, whatever, a better life, um, family, friends, and all the people around, like, this, strangers or homeless people. Cause like, I don't know, I feel like I, I'm glad I got blessed with a caring heart because, bro, I hate it. the fact that I be really nigga, you just gonna stop? Like, I hate seeing people in pain, I hate seeing people not happy, you feel me? Like, and homeless people, they don't have nothing, just seeing people and people be laughing at them. It's crazy. Hey, we coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. You can do this donut and shit. Ain't gonna stop us. Hey, you here. We gotta get right up behind us. Subject has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. And then it's like, because it's like, that could have been your life or part shit, part of your family member, and you just laughing at them just because they didn't do right in life. And that just sets you up for example to, 
do the shit that they they did, you feel me? So it's like, you know, like stuff. Our patience will be like, You gotta take Stay stuff as a lesson, you feel me? Not just go fun and game because that person didn't do what they had to do to do to have a, a better life for themselves. So Gonna laugh and sit there, we gotta hang in there. That same shit you own, or you gonna better your life and better everybody else's life to you. So you don't have to see that near you. You feel me? You gotta. I be on some other shit. You feel me? I don't. I try to not like be an asshole. Or, Stay on them, like, T. They'll stop eventually. I just try to be the best person I can be. You know. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! I think wanna go to Trevor, okay? He got this car nice. Oh, you feel me? Yes? Mm -hmm. I know that voice. Hear that? Johnson's Johnson. Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Devin Weston's Holding Company, if that's what you mean. Ah, oh, keep talking. I'm enjoying this. Let's assume you're talking about the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South L.S. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. And whoa, don't hang up. I, oh, I think I love you. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try to slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, Devin! Oh. Devin's lonely lawyer says go to Hayes Auto in South LS. So that's where I'll be waiting. We'll see about that. I vote we indulge his childish need to play. Besides, it's his head on the block if they get scratched. <laughs> bro, I need this car, nigga, online, bro. Just... Actually, I think I actually do have this car right here, man. I've got a red, a red one. This is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was posterizing racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired for my repo job, this is something I'm gonna see this car here. here. So thanks, dog. Oh, no. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. That was nigga. Everything is happening in the way. Like, damn, you had this car, that car, all up in the damn way. Like, Jesus. Hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction. 
indication of what they were. You don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. Man, that nigga flew off the car? I ain't... Like, I, I know it was possible, but damn, I ain't never seen him. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh God, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, gimme five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the. Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, like, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Turn on post notifications because y'all don't want to miss no videos coming out and nothing. Shit. No blessed day. Man, when am I going to get a paycheck for one of these licks? 